What's going on guys? It's your boy Ridge coming back with another video and another map. This time, it's Breakdown. If you've ever played Minecraft back in the old days, and you played a mini game called Spleef, you'll be familiar with the concept of the map and the game mode. This is a fun and simple game mode that can be highly addicting. In this video, I'm going to be going over what you'll see in the pre-lobby, the arena, the tools at your disposal, and the conditions of winning the game. When you first spawn in, you're going to be in the pre-lobby. This is where you wait for other players to join, or a countdown automatically starts the game. There's a link to my other map, 2 Fort Capture the Flag, a whiteboard with a quick overview of how to play the game, a couple pictures from my car photography page of mine and my friends' cars, as well as our socials. Also, if you end up checking out the map and you find this secret room, leave a comment and let me know. This is an 8 player game where the objective is to be the last man standing. Use your equipment to knock floor tiles out and drop your enemies out of the arena. When the game starts, you'll notice that you spawned in an arena underneath of the blimp that you were just inside of for the pre-lobby. And a bunch of coins on the ground, as well as in the air. But we'll get to those in a minute. Let's talk about your equipment for now. You have an extended melee range with your pickaxe, allowing you to break tiles that are farther away than you would normally be able to break. Roughly 9 or 10 meters away. Next, we're going to move on to the harpoon gun. The harpoon gun has 10 shots and can be used to yank enemies towards you, or it can be used to put holes in the floor underneath your enemies. But once again, you only have 10 shots, so use them wisely. Next up is the impulse grenades. They're like the shockwaves we have, but less powerful. If you need to make a quick escape or knock someone away from you, these are great. But you only have three of these. Once again, use them wisely. If you end up falling out of the arena, you've lost for that round, and you end up going to the spectating team. At the end of the round, you'll see that the scoreboard's determining factors are time alive, or whoever was the last man standing. And the tiebreaker would be items collected, which are the coins. Which brings us to the next point. The coins. The coins don't actually add to anybody's score, and it doesn't matter if you pick up the most. But, they will grant XP. So try and get as many of them as you can, if you want to help yourself level up. If you use the impulse grenades, you can collect the coins that are in the air, which are worth double. Double the collected item value, and double the XP. And that's about it. That's the game and how you play it. If you're enjoying either of the maps that I've made so far, or if there's any changes you'd like to see on any of them, feel free to DM me on TikTok, Instagram, or leave a comment on this video. If you want to catch me streaming on TikTok, make sure you follow me at Ridge Daddy and at Ridge Daddy Gaming. I'm trying to grow my socials and maybe turn this into a career someday. So any support helps and is greatly appreciated. And remember, like, comment, and subscribe.